Sure, at least I'll start where we ended, starting with that goal. Um, obviously, uh, you're looking to make something happen, but what was the thought process from taking it from that far away? Uh, my thought process was, you know, we have less than 10 minutes and we're still tied, and this game is crucial for us to uh, go into postseason play. So um, I, like Coach said, I've taken shots from there before, and, you know, I just had to have the confidence to take it, so I just went for it, and I didn't think it was going to turn out as beautiful as it was, but I mean, I just wanted to get something on frame and maybe Sarah Lancaster I knew was going up on the far side, so maybe she would get a deflection and, and tap it in. So, you know, I just wanted, I was offensive minded and I just kind of went for it. Yeah, well, you've now tied the all-time goal scoring record here at Cal Poly. If you had to total up all the goals you've had in your career from club to high school to, you know, the youth to now, I mean, how many goals, how many times have you scored in your life in soccer? Uh, <laughs> I just know in high school I had 100 goals even, uh, so coming in here I didn't, I mean, I don't even know, I, I'm going to say 200 plus probably with just the amount, but uh, I think my most like memorable one would have been my freshman year, my first goal ever against LMU, so um, yeah, I do have like a couple of those in my mind still that I, I look back on and think like, wow, that was really fun to do, but um, I know, I think I've lost track of really how many goals I've had. How many were like that? Like that one? Uh, my first one against LMU was like that. I oh, didn't, really? Yeah, well, I didn't do take the, the do, refresh my memory. How did that yeah. one go? Uh, so we were at LMU, and uh, it was the same thing. We won a tackle in the midfield, and the ball popped out right at my feet, and I didn't even think to take a touch or anything, and I just hit it. And I was on the uh, the right side of the field, and I went to the upper V of the left. So it kind of did the same thing. It wow. it kind of bent underneath, and but that was my first goal that I'd ever score at Cal Poly. So that was big time for me. I really enjoyed How that. How far were you away on that shot? Uh, I was going to say like 30, 35 yards. Well, how far was it? Yeah. So. Well, what does it mean for you to, to uh, you know, accomplish this so, so quickly in your junior season to be the, you know, tied for the all-time leading goals? You know, it, it means a lot for me personally, but I think it, it goes to show just how well my team has come to um, adapt to having good goal scorers on the team. I mean, we set ourselves up in great positions and uh, being up there with Megan Abutin and Sarah Lancaster, uh, all three of us had a, a great weekend with each other and um, we make good goals happen off of each other. So, I mean, we have great chemistry on the field and uh, we're looking to just continue that and go somewhere with it this year. How did you find out it was on ESPN and what was your reaction to that? Well, after the game, you know, on the bus, everyone was just so excited about it because we watched it on film. We got the film back pretty fast. So uh, everyone was like, this needs to go on Sports Center." So everyone just on social media kind of uh, let it go viral. And uh, I just remember, I, I know that they contacted Donovan and uh, asked if they could use it on all their platforms. So, I mean, I was excited. I didn't think it would actually be on that night, but um, it was cool to stay up and watch that. Yeah, who'd you talk to? Friends, family, anybody about that? Yeah, I talked to, I mean, everyone. I mean, just, I mean, everyone on the team knew, obviously, and everyone had been doing their thing with Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. But uh, I called, you know, my mom, who was there, who actually watched the goal, and she let her, you know, just all my cousins and aunts and uncles know. So, yeah, it was a cool time. Uh, Santa Barbara, um, I mean, talk to me about, you know, just kind of the hype between. Uh, the game or between you two teams and the game itself and just kind of the build up to it. Yeah, coming from a, a player's perspective, all of us are really excited. Uh, today we had a great practice and we worked on things that uh, we're looking to see against Santa Barbara on Sunday. So, um, you know, it's senior day and there's a lot at stake still. We still don't know if we're in the tournament. So uh, the only thing we can do is just uh, play, play our game and then uh, hopefully it takes us into the postseason. Is there, uh, is, is there an extra adrenaline rush? You know, with with this game at at home, like like, is there more, uh, you know, just kind of more excitement? Oh yeah, I mean, it's Santa Barbara. It's 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 a big rivalry, and regardless of how um, any other team has been playing in the conference, we just know, or even their results, you know, we just know that they're a great team when it comes uh, to playing us. So they play up, and um, we just have to deal with that. And it's going to be fun uh, to play, and especially it's our last home game. If um, you know, we obviously don't want it to be. We want to be in our own con in our tournament, but uh, yeah, it's there's a lot of hype around it, and we're gonna do a really good job of uh, marketing it and, and trying to get people and fans out because it's gonna be a really good game. Uh, two right socks. Two right socks. Right. <laughs> First, about statistics. All right, so you're scoring about 15 goals a year, on the average. 
so that would put you past the uh, the record in the Big West. Have you thought about that? Uh, in the back of my mind, it's there, but it, I don't really think about it in games or anything. I mean, afterwards, I'm kind of oh, um, people let me know and <laughs> uh, tell me that you know you're getting closer and closer. But I mean, yeah, that would be that's like a goal of mine my senior year to break the Big West uh, the Big West one. But uh, this year, it was just. Um, if I was going to look at a personal goal, it would have been to break the Cal Poly record. Are people defending you differently now? Uh, I do feel like I'm marked a little bit more. I'm on and off the ball. So, yeah, there's always someone around me that has their eye on me, and I, I can kind of feel like their presence at all times. But it hasn't really uh, – I mean, I haven't adjusted my game to it. I just um, – if, if there's more players on me, then someone else has to be open. So that's kind of what – you know, I'm looking at. I'm just trying to get rid of the ball as soon as I can and work my way to get it back. That's not why you're taking shots from 35 yards out. No, no. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that goal. Was that fun watching that? Yeah, um, yeah. That was a, yeah, that was a fun one to watch. It was really enjoyable for, I think, the team too. It, it kind of, um, it built our chemistry up a little bit more on the bus way home. So it, it, it's a fun time for us right now. Now you say it hooked. When it hit the far right corner? Yeah, it bent down underneath uh, the, the crossbar. So, yeah. Um, it looked like it was going to go over, but I'm glad it, it had a little bend to it. Not good.